The Freshman Mentoring Project is an after-school group at Kent Meridian that will pair freshmen with juniors and seniors in order to help incoming freshmen adjust to high school. We hope to help guide students into a strong first year of high school through teaching them to avoid the mistakes we have made and to mirror some of the good habits that have kept us on track. Why is this important? About 25% of high school freshmen fail to graduate from high school on time, and about half of the Fs earned by high schoolers are earned by freshmen. More students drop out during freshman year than any other year of high school. As a student who consistently misses first, and let's be honest, sometimes even second and third period just because they can't roll out of bed on time, I can tell you that the number one thing that you should do in order to avoid becoming part of those statistics is just waking up every day and on time for school. In middle school, I had signed up to get wake-up calls from my school's attendance office. But as you get older, waking up is a simple responsibility you will eventually have to learn. And whether you decide to buy a million alarms or have someone physically shake you out of bed every day, there is a solution out there that will work. I have to work a lot harder to maintain a good grade in first period because of my bad habits. Not only am I missing learning time, but I am sending a message to my teachers about how much I care about their class. And yes, while there might not be a difference in which teachers I favor, that can still be the message I send to them. More than being behind in assignments, I miss a chance to even learn what I'm supposed to be learning. Luckily for me, I have a first period teacher who is nice enough to let me come after school to make work up. But not all teachers have the time to do so. It's more work to sleep in than to come to class on time. If you are also a student who can't wake up on time, the first thing you should change is going to bed earlier. I often sleep through all my alarms and that's because your body will find a way to sneak in the sleep it needs. So just let it get the sleep it deserves. Ultimately, even if you need to stay up because of an assignment, it is a better choice to sleep early. Half the job is just showing up. Everything else falls naturally in place. In fact, nearly 90% of freshmen who miss less than a week of school per semester graduate regardless of their 8th grade test scores. Being successful in high school isn't merely about academics. In actuality, freshmen who miss more than two weeks of school flunk on average at least two classes, no matter whether they arrive at high school with top test scores or below average scores. In fact, freshmen who arrive with high test scores but miss two weeks of school per semester are more likely to fail a course than freshmen with low test scores who miss just one week. More than 95% of students with a B average or better in their freshman year graduate, and freshmen who earn a B average or better have an 80% chance of finishing high school with at least a 3.0 GPA. One big regret I have about high school is not joining clubs and sports right away. This is a really good thing to do because it gets you more involved with the school and you get to know people and you really find out what you're interested in and what you're not. It also looks amazing on college applications and makes you a well-rounded student. And clubs are also a very good way to get community service and this is another thing you need to put on college applications. Another regret I have is not reaching out to teachers. I was really shy and so I wouldn't talk to teachers about assignments when I was gone and other things like that, but it's really up to you and to take control of your learning and teachers are there to help you and they're really, really not as intimidating as they might seem. Overall, we want to let you know that your high school experience is completely in your grasp. You are not doomed to fail and making good choices can be a lot easier than it seems. We are extremely excited for incoming KM students who choose to join the Freshman Mentoring Project. We promise to emphasize that we are not just trying to teach you, but also trying to learn from you as well. Just like I can learn from my attendance problems, we can all learn how to become better students as we work together. If you have any questions about the project and its goals, or about KM, or even high school life in general, please email me. We are very excited to hear from you and see you next fall.